What's happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode. We're going to do something different tonight. We're going to go old school. We're doing an unboxing, but we're going to go hands in front of the camera, you know, where you don't see my face. You get close up looks at all the baits. We're going old school like that. So I'm not even going to waste time yapping. Let's get into it right now. Starting off with some of these, the Chatterbait Mini Maxes. I grabbed a couple of these. I've shown them before. I grabbed uh, just a couple, but I got a couple more colors. I got a couple of the bluegill in half ounce. I like the colors on it the, uh, the green, the orange, purple gold blade and then in three eighths a couple of these white throwing these up shallow especially when the bait fish start moving up i wanted to get some of these smaller ones for the smaller lakes and ponds around here i think this will mimic the bait especially the smaller shad you know later in the year in the fall quite well now for the trailer this is something new from big bite baits these are the new ones that have the sensation this is the slim minnow four i got the uh, tilapia color which should go really well with those bluegill look at all that flash and then the pearl, which is almost like a bone with a pearl kind of shimmer mixed into it. Both of them look really good. And if you had smell of vision these smell uh, very similar to a power bait. They've got that same kind of craw, gross smell. But these are just essentially some little kind of flukes. You could use these on like a scrounger head. But I thought some little flukes like this would pair pretty darn good with these smaller chatter baits. Let me know what you think of this paired up on the Minimax. I think that will be a fish catcher. Okay, also the Mimic Bait Fish. One of these is new, one of these isn't. So these are the new heads. These are from Greenfish Tackle. Bad Little Shad Swim Bait Head. I got the one out 3 16th in the gray and also in the white. And I wanted to have a good, small, compact little type of swim bait. Really could use these when I was on the Mississippi. You're gonna be seeing those vids coming up. But when fish are corralling and pushing, you know, keeping those bait pinned in corners, these little tiny baits like this can be absolutely wonderful. You know, it's like a little bait got separated from the pack and absolutely crush it. So these little swim bait heads, now these could be used like if you were doing a, you know, sonar or, you know, forward facing, you know, kind of dropping it down on them, almost like your Demiki rig again, with that straight up 90 degree line tie. Now, I just wanted to throw it around in the shallows, you know, or if I am on the John boat, something like this should work pretty darn well. But um, I paired it up with these. These are the part that are not new. This is the Mega Bass Spark Shad. Now, I have never used these. I got the three inch. I've had a bunch of people tell me to pick them up. Some USA Neon Pepper, very natural looking. That was this color here, you know, kind of that translucent um, bluish ice with you know some black flake in it this color is royal gill a little bit more color to it you can see it's got that green and then that kind of bluish almost like a purplish flake in it and then all that silver on the bottom and i like that they have the eyes on them too and last i got some purple haze y'all know i'm a huge fan of purple it's got some like red and black flake in it green is kind of like a smoky dark color i really like those colors that you know are kind of that natural with a little bit of see-through but enough sparkle um you know in kind of that cleanish to dirty water uh these colors work really well and specifically purple around here in the midwest uh usually kicks butt i also got a couple things here some of these are from tackle warehouse some are from omni i just kind of hit a few sales and these were kind of piled up um i got some markers i like to have uh, a few different markers on me i think i only had one of each so i grabbed this little pack it was a value pack i think omni had on sale blue, orange, red, and chartreuse. Really, that's all you need. Um, you know, like a blue and orange is great to mimic a, a craw. Red on it, you know, to give it a spot or even like the chartreuse to give it another spot. Um, I like that it came in the pack and I grabbed some more pliers. I've already got pliers, of course. I like that these come with the sheath and you can see here, uh, some of the ones I've had before just slide out. These do not. They are KVD. I didn't really care what the brand was as long as they have the braid cutter on there. Um, I carry the pliers with the braid cutter. That way I don't have to carry anything extra. Uh, you've got everything there. So if, if I just grab one combo and I'm bank fishing, throw these on, uh, or you can take this off and put it on your tackle bag. Love having a good pair of pliers. And also grab one of the Nichols Catalyst Spinner Baits. These are the new ones. I've got some more of these around here. I don't know what the heck I did with them. You can see they're using owner hooks on these. Owner are probably uh, my favorite hooks out there. Use the treble hooks, the, the stingers. Awesome little hooks, and this hook is definitely sharp. This is just white with silver. Mimic, uh, you know, the bait fish. The shad around here, you can see they did a, a little new head design on it, and they have kind of a semi soft plastic keeper looking deal there. Kind of an interesting looking little bait. Uh, I like nickel spinner baits, it's cool that they kind of updated some of the looks, uh, but we'll give that a go. Okay, I grabbed a bunch of plastics from X Zone. This one, now this is going to be a drop shot deal, you know, kind of what it, it's supposed to be. 3.25 inches, eight in here. They call it the hot shot minnow, but I almost wonder if this could work on a Ned rig because. Let's be honest, I'm not a great drop shot fisherman, but I really like the uh, the kind of the profile, the look of this. I mean, you could honestly throw this on 
a spinner bait like that, you know, with that straight tail, that would look good. Give it just a little bulk, one of those little mini chatter baits. Heck, you could even throw this on just a jig head and pop it around to look like, you know, a little bit of fry. Uh, but a lot of different uses. I really like the colors that X Zone does. This is called the Electric Shad. I might even have to try this on a drop shot. I need to up my drop shot game. I just I really like this profile. Very bait fishy mimicking. I also got some green pumpkin blue flake. As the name uh, implies, it is green pumpkin with blue flake in it. Some white. Uh, this one they actually call pearl. Yeah, pearl color there. Kind of that white little bit of flash on it. And then some bluegill or bream, they call it. I like the looks of all those. Now I just need to go out and try to catch some fish on a daggum drop shot, but I can think of a bunch of other uses for this now, too. Now also from Exxon, one that I'm really excited about, this is what I caught the big fish when I went up to Minnesota uh, filming with the Monster Bass team. This is the 4.25 inch Ned Zone. So it's like the old Ned Zone they already have, just bigger, 4.25 inches, uh, great size for like a, a little bit beefier Ned rig. You can honestly even throw this on some of the shaky head uh, type deals that they have out there. This is big enough you could wacky rig it like a little finesse wacky rig. A number of different things on this uh, but for me like an EWG Ned rig head actually got some little bit bigger hooks from do it to make some a uh, little bit bigger Ned rigs. Love the look of it. Like I said love the colors that X Zone does. Definitely want to fish this some more this fall. Uh, mm, that looks good. That color they call Big Limit. Got some Violet Secret which is like your peanut butter and jelly. Look at the purple on that. That brownish kind of peanut butter than your purpley violet. Mmm. Again, the green pumpkin blue flake, always a color that works well around here. Just your regular old green pumpkin with black flake, a staple. Minnow Magic, this was actually the one that I caught that fish on deep out there in the rocks. Uh, it's kind of a shad color, kind of a smoky up top with purple, silverish gold flake. Some kind of black hair looking flake in there. And then this iridescent blue belly, very bait fish looking, uh, worked well for me. Got the bass candy, again, very natural, almost like a sprayed grass look to it or a Mardi Gras uh, with that purpley violet iridescent belly. Summer craw, which is your chartreuse belly and green pumpkin top. And then last, the 319 color. Love the X-Zone colors. Uh, I really like the size of this bait. Definitely gonna see me fishing this some more soon as well. Okay, next, not a lure, but something that I use and keep on me all the time, a flashlight. Olight actually reached out to me and said, hey, we've seen your stuff. We'd like to send you a couple things uh, to check out. And this is the new Baton 3 Pro. So I actually already carry an Olight uh, on me, one of the little i3s, I think it is. It's nothing too expensive. Randy gave it to me. I used to have a nice Olight that Randy gave to me and I lost it and he always gives me crap. So and I like it because it's got the dual clip here. So I was actually down at my grandparents uh, we were out camping and I hooked this up onto my uh, my hat just to show you I hooked it onto the bill like that and was using it when I was putting stuff away uh, in the camper at night works well for that I use this side of the clip to hang it on my pocket so the the bowl bin is down I don't like having the bowl bend up um, as my everyday carry now the uh, the magnetic charger sticks in the back here which is cool you have to plug it in and have you know the little deals that go inside of it magnets right back on there and charges now my wife will make fun of me because I was all excited. This has up to 1500 lumen. Uh, I'm kind of a flashlight nerd. I've got a few around the house. Uh, you know, us guys always look how bright, how what's the lumen rating? It's also supposed to have 120 days of lifetime, which is nice because I forget to charge these a lot. It's got a built-in proximity sensor, which is nice. So like when you get close to stuff, it's kind of hard to see on here. It'll automatically dim. I think it's got four different levels. One, two, three. Yeah, the three different levels. And then if you hold it just like so, it's got the midnight mode. You can barely see it, but if you're going through uh, like the bedroom at night or something and looking for something, you don't want to wake up your spouse. Awesome to have that. So sweet little flashlight. There's bundles right now. I'll leave the link below. I think the code was Debo. I don't get any kickback from it. It's just, uh, I think 10% off for you. They've also got a bunch of other bundle different deals going on right now. I think if you get this, you get a little free flashlight with it, with it which is cool. It's got the uh, the two different deals there. I like having flashlights. Check them out below. Very nice of Olight to send those. I appreciate it a lot. Okay, sticking kind of with that trailer theme. Uh, that was what I had in mind when I picked these up. 4.5 inches. This is the flat sided shad from NetBase. So they're owned by American Bait Works, uh, which owns like the Scum Frog, Halo Rods. Of course, you know, everybody's been hearing about the bait fuel. This has bait fuel infused in it, so it's guaranteed to catch fish. I don't know, I'm just joking. I'm not sold on the bait fuel yet, but uh, looking at pictures of these, I really do like the looks of these. This kind of reminded me of the old school spinner bait trailers uh, that we used to throw like the little V-tails back in the day. Something like this on a spinner bait would look awesome. You could throw this on a chatter bait. Again, look at that. I think that would look darn good on there. You could, I mean, Ned rig this, drop shot this, a number of different things. I just like that it is, as the name implies, flat, could go on a number of different ways, number of different things. Look at that. Look at how limp it is, the action this thing's going to have. Pretty cool. 
That was the white color. I also got the dark shad. Looks really neat. Smoky top with like a purple flake in it. Bottom is like a translucent with like almost a violety purplish iridescence to it. Neat color. Then also got a color that they call Killer G, which uh, I think looks absolutely killer. I'm guessing the G stands for Gobi. That's exactly what it reminded me of when I saw the color. But it's got like your purple gold flake in there. And it's like a green pumpkinish or a brown pumpkinish uh, kind of color to it. Very natural. Again, I think these will work as a trailer, as a little bit larger drop shot. I got some hooks uh, that I wanted to try for some. Forgot to turn the air compressor off. Sorry, I was saying some larger hooks that I want to try for a little bit bigger type of drop shot presentation. Okay, just a couple things left in here. Uh, I told you before I re-upped on some of these trailers and I wanted to show you this color. The Missile Baits Mini D-Chunk in Junebug. This is a little plastic that I've really come to like and look at that color. Uh, Missile Baits did a great Junebug color, that dark Junebug. Some companies have like a weird Junebug color, but that dark, deep purple Junebug is what I think of. So again, if you have not tried these, Give a little mini D chunk a go. Okay, also not new, I showed you some of these before, but I wanted to get a couple colors and sizes that I didn't have. The three inch June bug, uh, this is the boss grub from Berkeley, it's a power bait. Get nine in here, and I also got a four inch, they come in three or four inch. The four inch in Skeet's Green Money, and that is like Mardi Gras, sprayed grass, that kind of transparent green pumpkin, almost a watermelon with like purple, gold, black flake, and then this, June bug, again, they got the June bug color, right? And I got these specifically for some of these swim jigs. This is called the Lil Schmitty. I got these on uh, on Omnia. Hayabusa makes them. The OG, when I saw the picture, I'm like, I've got to pick up some of those in pearl. Again, pearl. Purple, because purple works so well around here. Look at that. It's got that straight head design, uh, you know, kind of like that pointed arrowish type to come through grass, um, you know, as a swim jig has. It's got the light weed guard on it, so it's not meant to be super stiff. Uh, just kind of a light weed guard to help it come through the grass. And then these boss grubs look awesome on the back of a swim jig, you know, kind of like a Rage Menace uh, on the back of a chatterbait. But this little deal together, uh, it's got like the tinsel stuff in there. This thing looks pretty darn sweet. I want to give this a go. I've got a couple swim jigs I want to try before the grass and stuff is, uh, is gone around here. Okay, rounding out the box, I also grabbed another pair of scissors. You can never have too many scissors. I tell you what, keep a pair of these in your truck. They are so handy. Uh, my buddy Rand Dizzle tells me that, uh, but they really do come in handy. I lost my scissors. For some reason, I lose things easily, but uh, just some braid scissors. They have like little serrations there. They cut braid and stuff really easy. And also from Omnia, the Slither K. This is a frog I don't know that I'll get a throw and actually catch fish on because, dang it, fall's getting here, so I need to get out and throw it soon. But kind of a cool little finesse-type frog. How much does this weigh? Three eighths ounce with the 61 millimeter body. Got like a rabbit fur, a deer fur, tail deal to it. Body is super soft. You can see the, uh, the weight is down here on the bottom. Body collapse is easy, and those hooks are super sharp. Cool looking little frog. I've heard a lot of people talk about them. Uh, I want to give it a go. I like an all black. This had pink on it. I didn't really care about the top. I wanted the all black belly like that. So hopefully I can catch some fish before the, the frog bite dies around here. All right, fishing friends, do me a favor. Comment below and let me know what are you the most excited to see me use and get out this fall. Uh, maybe some of these little swim jigs. Something small to mimic a bait fish profile. Some of these mini max chatter baits. They still work in the fall. Or maybe just some of the new plastics. Comment below and let me know. Now tonight's subscribe fish and friend is WTrax71. Always supporting, always watching. This is an old video on spinner baits. Going back and apparently watching my old book of stuff, but a nice fella. I love everybody who continues to support me. Actually, there's Mr. Russell, RWA Fishing. Go check him out. He's got a, a YouTube channel. Super nice guy and supported me for a long time. But anyway, go check them out. I always appreciate the folks who support me, watch my videos, uh, you know, whether I'm throwing little swim baits and catching dinks or throwing chatter baits and catching bigger dinks, doesn't matter. I would not be here where I am without all of you watching and supporting me. So it's late. I need to go edit. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time. Mm -hmm.